Right, I was going to do a proper intro, but let me just get down here first. This looks like it could be a good way in. As you've clicked on this video, you know that I'm visiting an abandoned stadium, something I've done a lot of in my time. And this one means a hell of a lot to me. I've been to ones in Scotland. I'm obviously not from Scotland. I'm from the south of England, which is where I am now, a town called Aylesbury. I've actually played at this stadium before. I have good memories of this place. Right, let me see if I can uh, get up here. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the f This place used to win awards for its pitch. It's a non-league club in the south of England in a town where I grew up, Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire. A town where, you know, not a lot really happens. One of those classic sort of English towns that is just pretty standard, but this place, I used to do like children's football summer camp things here where, you know, when you're in the school holidays and your parents are at work or whatever, they drop you off here for the day and, um, and you'd be able to play football, but just look at this. Yeah, look, let's uh, try and uh, work our way through here. Thankfully, I've got my trousers on today. My God, what has become of this place? Ellsbury United, why, why? Oh, I remember playing on here as a kid. I remember Ellsbury being quite a big side as well. Look, this stuff's almost as tall as me. I'm not the biggest vlogger out there, but the grass has grown up almost to my height. Mad. This was once a revered pitch from around England and around the UK. I think it won awards for how good the pitch was. It won awards. This place won awards for how good the pitch was. The groundsman here, I remember getting told as a kid that this place, like the groundsman and the stuff that they did, I remember there being stories about them, how good this place was, how good the surface was. And I guess that's why England played here. But let me get into that. England have trained here a couple of times throughout the years, using it as a as like a training camp or whatever. But um, they actually played a match here against non-league side Ellsbury United in the lead up to the 1988 European Championships. And let me reel off a list of players who played that day. Bobby Robson was their manager. Gary Lineker played. Chris Waddle. Gray, uh, Glenn Hoddle. Who else? John Barnes was playing. Peter Reid. All these players played here. Now look at it. Now look at this place. This is honestly unbelievable. Let's see if we can, you know, find a way to look over on that stand over there. It's graffiti and stuff like that. Makes me sad to see, especially... Oh, some weird noises coming out of the grass. Makes me sad to see, especially given my personal connection with this place as well. I know I've been to Kafkin Park and East Stirling Shears, Abandoned Ground and Rosyth, numerous other ones in Scotland. There's one in Bradford I need to visit um, that people have told me about. Maybe Rotherham as well. Um, but to see this, Unbelievable. Oh, I must admit, I'm not enjoying this. This is probably, I've been to a lot of abandoned stadiums, the worst, most overgrown, dangerous one I've ever been to. This is honestly, the, oh, this is horrible, lads. Oh my God. Remember to hit that like button for me going through here. What other football channels bring you adventures like this? My word, look at this place, pigeons. Slugs, mushrooms. <sighs> I bet when the groundsman was winning awards back in the 90s and early 2000s, he never could have imagined this. Now look at it. Now look at it. So sad. But great for content. So swing some roundabouts, isn't it? Trousers are a bit drenched, as are my trainers, but yeah, just look at this the crumbling old stands of a once award winning stadium pitch at least. Unbelievable. Jesus. A little bit about the club, Ellsbury United. They were made famous during, like, during the 90s and stuff for a couple of amazing cup runs. 
of which I think they got to the FA Cup third round, could have been the fourth round, against uh, QPR, which they lost. And Ellsbury, famous for Ducks, weirdly enough, um, the football team, Ellsbury United, known as the Ellsbury Ducks. And um, yeah, I think there was a famous like duck walk celebration or something like that. And a man I've met when I was talking about those like little football camps I used to do, I've actually um, met one of the players, the all-time leading goal scorer, Cliff Hercules. I think he's got over 300 goals for the club, um, way more than anyone else. He's a bit of a local legend here. You ask most football fans in Ellsbury and they'll be able to tell you about Cliff Hercules. But yeah, he almost scored in that 7-0 loss that they had against England back in the late 80s. But um, yeah, he was a big part of their cup runs and stuff. And yeah, he was a big legend over here at Ellsbury United. But as you can see, look, this is their, their home, their old home, the football club the biggest club in the town there is a few but nowadays they don't even play in Aylesbury they play in Chesham which is about 12 miles away something like that but my god this place I just can't like can't believe just you know 10 15 years ago as a kid would have been playing here a bit more than 10 years ago 15 years ago yeah as a kid I'd have played here in a little summer camp yeah They even still have, look, the floodlights are still here. What happens to these places when they sell them? Like, is it poor planning permission? Like, surely someone's invested hundreds of thousands of pounds to buy this place. And look at it. I ain't going in there. Not one part of me wants to go in there. Oof. Hear that barking? Sounds like there's a pack of wild dogs that lives in here. My God, this place. But yeah, Ellsbury United. Once a, you know, biggish club in this area that played here. I don't know how they're doing these days compared to, you know, the 90s when they were getting to the FA Cup. You know, latter stages for, for a non-league team. Anyway, getting to the third round, that's brilliant. It's unbelievable, but it doesn't seem like uh, they'd be able to get that far now. I've not heard of them getting that far. Who knows what's going on with them? They're obviously playing Chesham now. I read online that they have been, um, they have tried to buy this place back, but phew, didn't go through. And look, how could they not let them? Why have they got to play in another town? Why has uh, this place just been left to rot? Unreal, honestly mad. Yeah, look, as you can see from this and from the amount of rubble and the amount of stand that has like fallen down, it's clearly a dangerous place. They don't want people inside here. Even me being on the outside is probably not what they want. It was all fenced off up there, but as you saw on my way in there, it's just like a little path that takes you right in. But yeah, just climbed the fence. That is the old home of Ellsbury United. Rest in peace, amazing old stadium. It was nice knowing you. It was nice playing at you once upon a time. I wish the uh, current Ellsbury United club, yeah, all the best wherever they're playing in Chesham. I know they've had a few ground moves looking at things. They've of course been in the FA Cup third round before. Cliff Hercules, an amazing striker who's played here and scored over 300 goals. England have played here for goodness sake. Shame to see this after, you know, living away for so long, living in Australia, going to Thailand, Indonesia, Vanuatu, all across Europe. To know that I left this place as a kid and it was a vibrant, amazing football stadium to see it like this. Very, very sad. Please do remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I'll leave some uh, other abandoned videos on screen for you to watch. Please do click on one. It really helps my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.